let's get to the title of the show. Yeah, we went into that a little bit in the beginning. Uh, yeah. What, what else? What, what didn't we say on that? You know, that's... Uh. Yeah, let's, let's get to the title of the show. I'm going to destroy Android. Yeah. So here's the Steve Jobs quote. I'm going to destroy Android because it's a stolen product. I'm willing to go thermonuclear war on this. But this is also from the same man that great... Uh, what was it, uh... Let me, let me think about, uh, it was, it was, uh, uh, Great Artist Steel or some shit. What was, what was uh, it? Uh, I always forget that damn saying. Good artist copy, Great Artist Steel. There you go. So, hypocrisy is the best. So, anyway, uh, even though I don't agree that Antoine stole, I'm saying that Steve Jobs in context is being hypocritical if he truly lives by that statement. Well, I, 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 I've always looked upon Steve Jobs' philosophy personally. It's like this, the, the wave I get from the few times he's been candid in the press and the general approach he gives to folks, I, it, I've, the impression that I've got is, you know, he, it, he has to be, the, it has to be through Steve. It, it's, it, he is exceedingly annoyed, possibly even takes it as an assault, but if there's somebody so else on, on on the playground, he's like, no, no, I'm the kid on the playground that does this. And it's like, well, yeah, I, I do like, it too, you know? <laughs> this is the same thing of Microsoft and all this other crap where it was stealing, stealing, stealing. I mean, I, I'm sorry. People have to understand that people do develop in parallel at different schedules. Now, it is true that, um, that Google CEO was part of the board of Apple, so there may be more foul play involved uh, when he left the board and probably gave it a lot of the stuff he knew that Apple's doing uh, uh, to Android. But certainly, I don't dismiss that Google was already developing something in Paris. This happened. It's well, no, and, 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 and there are there. The, it has come to light that some of the people who worked on early versions of Android uh, were formal Apple employees. You know, but I don't look on that any different as you know, yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, b back in the eighties, Apple hired Apple and Microsoft were gobbling up anybody they could. You know, from, from all these other. different places uh, and, and from each other. You know, it's like that. That that's that's an industry practice. There's nothing wrong with that. Just gotta be competitive, man. Because people bring you good stuff. I mean, it's like. But what I don't want, I, what I want people to understand is that you got to get in your head that. Um, well, I, I, I am certainly an, a, a, an Apple fan that I understand that in the process of things, people, like when technology presents a certain level, not there's not just one person that's going to have an idea. There's several people that will have ideas to pursue something because they see the same things and say, oh, wow, I, I can now do this. And then begin to develop and, and, and bring that technology. One may be ahead of the other, granted. And I think in the case of Google, maybe that, I forget his CEO's name, that I think Android was probably well. Are, are you talking about Schmidt or the current CEO? Schmidt, yeah. And, and, and I'm sure that he already knew Android was, was going on, but it was like, wow, we're probably going to get butchered. The same kind of thing that Bill Gates would say when he was developing operating systems in parallel, of which he did not steal. You know, I know that... Uh, you know, they, at Microsoft, uh, I've at, done videos on this. You've done videos on this. Millions of people on YouTube have done videos on this. The Apple I, fanboys I, will always I, say I, they I, stole. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it happens. It's just it's just because they didn't work for Apple that okay they stole. No, I mean it's just but, um, Windows was created from Apple's protectionism, mm -hmm. and, and Apple fanboys have to swallow it in the end. It, because Apple did not want a license, which Bill Gates pleaded and pleaded. That is the well. In my personal opinion, I think where that mythos comes from is most of the current people engaged in that argument uh, have never seen Windows 1.0 or 2.0. They've never seen these. They don't realize what they were. They were basically a program that ran in DOS. You know, they, they were not this whole environment that ultimately... It is obvious 
that they were, if, you, if you've ever used 1.0, 2.0, or early versions of 3.0, it is obvious what it is. It is, you would not ever accuse, you would not say, this is stealing. You would never say that right. <laughs> if you'd actually uh, used them. So also think about Microsoft's strategy, strategy because they were saying, well, if, if, if Mac is not going to take its software to other mo hardware models, we have a limited demographic for which our, 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 our limited reach for our software. Well, no, and that was the thing. At the end of the day, they wanted to sell more copies of Microsoft Word. Oh, well, all of their products, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and uh, you know, the, one of the biggest things when it when it comes down to that is, well, if this is not going to happen here, you know, I've got to do something to, to make my reach a lot farther. And it, it's in black and white that Microsoft pleaded to say, you know, they gave Apple fair warning, in my opinion, to say, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. Because it's kind of, remember like Lotus? Notice notes and all that. Other yes. They, got absorbed the they they were just suites of software, and look what happened to them. They got absorbed. And Microsoft wasn't stupid. They weren't going to say, "Well, we're just going to be totally dependent on one on, on this extent." No, because they they knew that was what would happen to them. That was something Microsoft and Bill Gates got very early on. Yes. I, in my yeah, opinion, Microsoft had vision. They, I mean, you know, they knew. Yeah, they didn't want to become a subsidiary of Apple down the road. They wanted to be. Well, yeah, I will always agree with Microsoft's model. I, I just let me put it this way: I always agree with Microsoft's model. I disagree with the way they executed it. If, if that makes sense to anybody, that's why I always am an arguer of, of licensing out OS ten and all that. Software should be. You know what? Hardware. Since you brought that up, and we we've done hypotheticals with things Apple swore they'd never do, but is likely going to happen to the iPhone platform and probably the iPad later, because the iPad will have... The iPad can wait longer because the iPad's like 80% battery. <laughs> but um, uh, do we think at any point... I, I don't expect it to happen with iOS, but do we think at any point in this decade Apple might start licensing OS X? See, I, I actually thought, I have a video where I, I, I and I'll, I'll leave my own words, I got wrong. I thought for sure that, well, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I know I know I had said that I believe Steve, well now, now I can't, now I can't ever be right because obviously uh, Jefferson Peace is not, not here to do it. But I went off of Jobs' old personality of, of believing in, in software running on multiple hardware platforms. And I thought that he, that OS X had to be fully cooked at 64-bit before he would do it. And, and, and I guess we could say Lion is, but it can be debatable whether it's fully 64-bit or not. Because it is tougher to deal with what OS X is dealing with and the way it does manage it. Because see what Windows does. Oh, no, no, the, the, yeah, that, that's the thing. Well, you know, and I, it, this is something that bugs me out to death. All these proponents that get up and, like, start bashing, and it's like, it's not true 64. It's like, the only true 64-bit OS right now is a Linux version that's compiled 64-bit, which ca creates certain issues, or or, 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 and this is the one that is more important, Microsoft Windows, 64-bit uh, binary sign. Those are the only two really... True, you, you pure. You can in the true OS X 64. You can as well. But, they, you know, but, they, but they, for they, the they reasons possible. that, for the same reasons that a lot of Linux distros are still 32 bit and so, and yeah. so forth, by default it goes into 32, so things work. You know? It's, and see what Windows does is you run, you run, you run uh, WoW 64, which is Windows on Windows. 64, exactly. The hell, right, which is backward, but it's true 64. And, and I guess it just never happened. It didn't happen. As, uh, I, I, I guess I'm, I'll admit that I'm, I'm wrong, but at the same time, OS X is not full 64 because no one, and Apple certainly is not going to tackle multiple more hardware platforms and, and are, are, are more are expanding their hardware reach. Well, it, 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 for the, it's just like it's pretty easy for a Linux. I, I say easy. Easy is the wrong word, but it it wouldn't be it wouldn't be this oh dear God undertaking for right. a, a, and some future release 
for OS X, just like a Linux distro to go, okay, now that all the support software is here, we're going 64. They just recom <laughs> they would just recompile everything when the industry gets to that point and go, right. now we're 64. That doesn't operate that way internally. See, Microsoft has its problems because each department essentially doesn't even com communicate with each other as, as, as effectively as it should. And if you watch Channel 9, you know, or, or, or many of their shows, they, they'll plainly admit it. Especially like around Vista, the Microsoft Office teams were livid at the Vista teams for shutting out root access. And, and, and when single user mode, basically. There were a lot and, of security and, people oh, a little livid okay. about that, too. <laughs> you know, back and forth, that, you know, the obviously the departments aren't, aren't, aren't talking. Apple's a different model, at least from, from what I have witnessed and heard. Uh, and, and they get very focused on this. And it's kind of like why you say, you know, we, why we've had um, statements from Apple saying, well, we took developers away from OS X to do iPhone, and, and then, you know, back. I mean, they, they stay focused. And I think that, that has also its benefits as well, um, certainly. And I think probably the discombobulation that Microsoft has had in the past with these, which was obvious and prevalent within the Vista. Um, well, but also what you're getting, what, what you're getting at is indicative of the difference between the companies. At the end of the day, despite their profitability, Apple is still a small company. You know, they they have thousands, but they're still largely a small. They're large employees, but they think small. Which yeah, is true. yeah, they're they're still largely a small company. Microsoft is a conglomerate, you know, and they work like a conglomerate, like you say. The left hand doesn't talk to the right foot, you know. It's that that that's. The, the real difference there and, and it, it, but but that, but but both both models have their own set of problems conglomerates can do certain things a small company will never be able to do and vice versa you know it, it's that's because it's like it, that that's also in some cases a weakness for Apple it's a strength in a lot of cases it's a weakness in a lot of cases it's not a cut and dry thing no, yeah. But here, anyway, here's uh, this, the oh, we, because we've digressed a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just point Android, so here's the quotes. Isaac, Isaacson wrote, Jobs was livid in January 2010 when HTC introduced an Android phone that boasted many of the touch and other popular features of the iPhone. Apple sued and Jobs told Isaacson, I am an uh, exploitative laced rant that Google's actions amounted to grand theft. I will spend my last dying breath if I need to, and I will spend every penny of Apple's $40 billion in the bank to right this wrong, Jobs said. I'm going to destroy Android because it's a stolen product. I'm willing to go through a nuclear war on this, Jobs used as an explicative to describe Android and Google Docs, Google's internet-based word processing program. In a subsequent meeting with Schmidt, at the Palo Alto, California cafe, Jobs told Schmidt that he wasn't interested in settling the lawsuit. Good God. The, well, there it is, his sharp edge, the book says. I don't want your money. If you offer me five billion, I, I won't want it. <laughs> Holy shit. I find this entertaining. This is good shit. Uh, um, I, I won't want it, uh, the book says. I don't want your money. If you're Okay, well, I'm sorry. I repeated that, sorry. Uh, if you offer me five billion, I I won't want it. I've got plenty of money. I want you to stop using our ideas in the Android. That's all I want. This the meeting Isaacson wrote resolved nothing. <laughs> well, I see th this. I can tell you, Schmidt's probably like, dude, we're not, you know, it's we're not stealing from you, Jobs. We're not. <laughs> He's like, what plan? I, I, okay, Jobs. Samsung. I would definitely say Samsung. Well, we, we could argue that, but this goes back to something I've said several times in PC versus Mac, and you've told me I'm wrong, and I've said, this agenda by Apple, I, I didn't equate it to Steve Jobs, but now I have proof it was Steve Jobs, uh, has always been about attacking Google and Android in any way they could, and now we know why, <laughs> but... I didn't say you were wrong, I agree with you, because remember we were discussing the Bubble logo? And all that stuff used in the uh, in, in the keynotes and all that, and we were we were discussing that in one show. Where I was like, "Look at this, man! They're definitely jabbing Android." Oh yeah. Because they even sh the bubble, the little bubble bee thing. Well, no, but see, this has been my thing. It's like, I, I, if, if Apple wants to attack Google, 
go attack Google, damn it! It's like, it's, you obviously hate Google, you feel they've wronged you, then go after them! <laughs> because I've had, we already discussed this, the, the, the courts would never do it software to software. Well, but see, but see, that goes back to the saying. I, it's like I, this is a case when this is a case when Steve Jobs was dead wrong. Google didn't steal from your Jobs. It, it's not. It, we don't know about. But I'm not. I am not one willing to say that Google has really stolen. Well, I mean, Google's obviously a very different ideology in execution than iOS. And touch, I'm sorry, you can't patent touch. For what, what are we supposed to do? Touch has existed long before iOS when I, when I was doing point of sale systems for restaurants. For no, I know. And that, 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 if you if you read the touch patent Apple has, you know, it's basically, okay, uh, so nobody can have a touch screen but Apple? You know, it's like, why was, it, it, I mean, yeah, that, that, that patent should never have been approved. It's like you can't patent air. And if Apple guys want to argue that, folks, you know, Go somewhere else. I'm not interested. Yeah, well, and, and that, that's the thing. At, at, at the end of the day, uh, well, you know, and like on top of that, you know, we're, we're, we're getting PCB Mackey, but you know, day one, Android did things that Apple didn't. It, Apple also did some things that Android didn't. And both have gotten better since. Uh, yeah. But but you know that, that you know again it it's 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 like what we were talking about with the Windows argument. Anybody who used Windows 1.0, 2.0, and early versions of 3.0 would never make that accusation. Anybody who actively used early versions of iOS or, or played with them or messed with them and early early versions of Android like 1.4, knows. They are not the same animal. They've not stopped. now. They have both grown since to adapt features like you say that the consumer wants and demands. That's them dealing with the industry and what the consumer wants. That's not them stealing from each other. That's them adding functions the user base demands, which is just good business on both parties' part. But if you go back to the early core versions, you know, uh, uh, the early versions of iOS and the and the and the 1.0 versions of Android, it's obvious that they're not. It, I, my guess is not that many people uh, used the early versions of Android. It was more a geek thing, you know. It was yeah. ooh ah. It's like people really got on Android around 2.0, and by then I will admit. You know, that's when the adapting of features had started, and you know, the line had begun to become a little gray. Same thing with iOS. iOS had started to add a lot of things, and, and so on. You know, the, the but yeah, you have to go back to before that with both of them and look at the, the core where they started. Yeah, because yeah, iOS from from browser browser based to native, which Android already had native. You know, it's like, uh, of course, you know, it's people just got to come to terms that it, it, it is true that people developed stuff in parallel. And sometimes industries are so close that... But you know what? I don't want to say that Jobs is wrong. I mean, fine. Take it personal. And that's what makes him better his product. And that's what, you know, Android makes Jobs... Well, I, 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 we, we, know, can, we can, that, that, that we can, can debate on the better, but it is definitely thing. what made Jobs Jobs. <laughs> yeah. And it, same with Google. They had that logo with the droid bot. Like, I think it was he was taking a bite out of an app or something. That's awesome. I mean, I like that competitiveness, and please don't lose it. You know, but now I'm kind of scared because I don't know, ooh, I don't know what I want. I don't try. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think Cook is, is a Jobs. He's a he's a he's a defensive guy, and no one can convince me unless I see otherwise. Essentially, um, because he's he's too much of an analytical guy. Jobs is not analytics, and, and you know he, that's why he hires people like that to do that for him. And, and I just, I, you know, I, I, I think that was good. I may bitch and moan, oh, look at, you know, but you know, I find it humorous. It's, it's entertaining. I mean, this is, just, this is, but this is what we need because if we don't have this, then we're going to be dominated by some gosh damn Windows platform and create this another fucking a parallel Wintel alliance, and then, and then nothing happens anymore. Then we get garbage. Anyway, so this this article says, so it's fair to say Jobs is not a fan of Android. Well, I can see why he's upset about Android. The jab at Docs doesn't seem to be as obvious. But there's more. According to the account, which will be uh, Monday before we can get our hands on it, uh, Johnny Ive was Jobs' spiritual partner. And at least while Jobs reigned, no one could tell him what to do. Ooh, interesting. 
He called Jonathan Ayan, Apple's design chief, his spiritual partner at Apple. That's cool. I like that. Uh, he told Isaacson that I had more operation power at Apple than anyone besides Jobs himself. That there's no one at the company who can tell I what to do. That says Jobs is the way I set up. You know, that's interesting. And, that, and you know, uh, what was it? Uh, DRPUK really liked I to see all the apps. See, I, I, to me, I would agree with is that guy who's got that. Uh, but perhaps he's just a lot of, of maybe more of the artist than Jobs, and and, and, and not that gumption guy. He, you know, it's like maybe Eyes is that Wozniak personality. What what I'm honestly thinking. You know, Wozniak wants to just do nothing but do what he does well and building computers, and Jonathan I wants to just do nothing but what he does well in, in, in the artistic. And, and, and making it work for the consumer, uh, and, and that may be a thing, you know. But they need to find, they need to find some guy. I, 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 honestly, I don't think there is another Steve Jobs. I, I, I think there's probably one or two. You know, uh, I mean, I'm not saying find another Steve Jobs. I'm saying find another SOB. Well, no, no, no. But okay, okay. I mean, I'm a bitch, uh, no, no. Uh, okay, they but 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 risk, they uh, have the capital take risks. I, I know, but here here's my official point of view on that. I think the. Uh, uh, SOBs who are in the class you'd want are people who would never work for Apple because of what Apple is and who Apple is and it basically you know it's like the comment has been made by more than one person in the industry you do realize Steve Jobs would never work for Steve Jobs or anything that Steve Jobs touched and that that's that's a fair analogy it really is and that that th those people uh, why there's a few of them that that could maybe either individually or collectively do that thing because of what Apple is and where Steve Jobs took Apple and all of that history they're never gonna work for Apple you know they would they would they would attack Apple destroy Apple but they'd never work for Apple um, and I, um, my honest opinion is what app what, what's probably gonna have to happen for if Apple is to survive is they're gonna have to do I agree with you they need the insanity but they're uh, they're going to need to do re they're going to need to do a restructuring of how the company works yeah, to create a hive that. control yeah. thing that can simulate all the different things. But the company's not set up to work like that right now. So that's a complete restructuring, and that may be why they stuck Cook in because as an analytical person, if he at least has an appreciation for it, he could restructure the company to do that. He would uh, be the person to do a restructuring. Up, but I was, what I was going to get at, and, and what I was going to get at was the reason why Bill Gates was able to retire is because Microsoft became a conglomerate. He hired, in other words, it separated into divisions of which he hired the best people to handle those divisions, and and they didn't talk to each other. But I mean, they were so powerful in each respect. Like Microsoft Office, really, was its competitor out there. On the enterprise side of things, IIS. It takes a back seat to Apache, but there's no one else really to compete with it. That's not exactly what? true, but okay. <laughs> On numbers, who's competing with it other than Apache? Uh, I, I think I'd have to go pull all the stats up, but there are some of the uh, alternatives to Apache uh, that are actually starting to grow in market share. Okay, but, but it's going to be a lot. Uh, um, I, yeah, but they, they, at the rate they're growing... I mean... Essentially, it's it's hurt significantly. I mean, I'm not a console dude, but from what I can tell, it's really put a dent in the PlayStation. I guess you know, thing. And, it's not uh, hard given what Sony's doing. <laughs> well, I guess. I mean, but it's it's powerful in that regard. Um, Microsoft has a tremendous amount of enterprise under its belt already. Uh, you know, so it's all it's got all these divisions. See, Apple is Apple's, Apple's not a strong enough company to do that. Yeah, yeah it's not designed this section to where, and that's why I got, that's why I made my video about Steve Jobs, and people were like, oh, well, don't worry, Jobs is going to be on the board. I was like, you don't fucking get it. <laughs> you know, and I, that's why you emailed me, you said, well, it turns out you were right. You know, it's like, I was like, people don't get it. I know Jobs' personality, man. I, he, there's no fuck. 
I, 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 well, my, my opinion, and I said it at the time, was I didn't think it was voluntary. I thought it was stuff like this, like this, like this quote we're talking about, and I think there were forces in Apple that were getting sick of him doing this, and they're like, Steve, for the good of the company, leave or we'll throw you out. It may take us five years and Apple will get destroyed. Don't make that happen again. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> The board of directors, <laughs> that statement was solely for, pres per, for stock preservation. And then, uh, I, I would, that, that's, when, that's when it hit me, actually, about the, like, the death thing. That, that, that's when I absorbed it. And I know I even went back, I was like, yeah, I came to terms with Jobs' death when he resigned. Because to me, there was nothing else in my mind, knowing uh, the personality of Steve Jobs, uh, that there would be any other reason. And I was like, holy shit. And I remember, I remember we had that Iowa run, and, and what was the first thing I said? I said, may he live many more years. Because that was the primary thought in my head that I, I, was, I, I, I wanted the conspiracy theories to be true. And, and, but I knew he would never give up the reins. It, it, it was just, and I was like, shit, man, this is it. And this, this is it. This, this game well, over. We, we said you were right. I was wrong. <laughs> it's like it's no, no, it's not about wrong. It's not about, but, but I mean, it's not so much. But there were Apple purists who are like, nah, it's not a big deal. He's doing what Bill Gates does. You know, he's got to retire sometime. And, uh, and I just you like, know, it, it, you know, since you've brought it I up said, and we brought that up, I, I have never understood. You know, is that the core of the whole PZV Macish thing and yada yada? But since we've gone into all of this and gone off on all these tangents, why the devil do people compare Steve Jobs to Bill Gates? Because they're not even the same animal. They're, I mean, they're entirely different animals, different people, different everything. It, it, that's like saying a kumquat to a rutabaga or something. And, even, and it's even less in, than that. You know, it, why? Why is it always Jobs compared to Gates? Yeah. I don't know. It's because you know they they were they. I hate saying that. By the way, I hate saying you know. That's a pet peeve of mine. I I'm trying to rid it of my lexicon to say that. But anyway. Well, I, I used to say, here's the thing, and I, I got rid of it, but now I say yada yada. I need to have like a, a, an episode here where I do two sides of the video, and I have yada yada versus here's the thing. You know, it's like... <laughs> but but it's, it's, uh, it's something that they were competitors. It's the long-lived rivalry, and I think it, that it's just probably never going to leave the mindset, because that was such... Good Lord, that, that rivalry lasted for years. You know, but see, that's the thing. There really isn't. I mean, industry wise, it's not, but as individuals, there isn't this rivalry between them. They, they know each other. They're kind of pseudo friends. Yeah, they, yes, later on, but they still make jabs at each other. Please. That's, that's what I call about being good sports. You know, they come out on, like, uh, what is it, Digital 5, I, I forget the damn show, and they get out there and they and they play nice with each other. That's good sportsmanship. But when they go back home, it's all on again. You know, that, that's that's the awesomeness of it. And and so I think that that's pretty cool. And it, I, I mean, I guess there's really no much, not much to say on, on, on that aspect. Of it. But I, I definitely came to terms with, with when Job retired. I was like, this is it. This is terrible. And I look at this damn picture and I feel sorry for the guy. I, I, you know, sometimes I wish that he wasn't as much of a, of a an extremist. You know, the the the, the yeah. Apple fanboys can lynch me, but you know, I don't have this big emotional yada yada to the to the passing of Jobs. You know, I I will I'll, I'll acknowledge, but you you know. <laughs> Look, even when Bill Gates goes, and we're talking about it, the big play players that Bill Gates and, and, and Richie. Well, well, no, no. See, that that's the thing. We we lost. Uh, we've lost Dennis. We've lost Steve. We, we, the reality is, and the and this. Without explaining the users, we've moved. The, the truth of it is, is that we've moved beyond Richie's gift, essentially, because we've built so many layers on top of it. Yeah. Well, no, but see, that that's the thing. My honest assessment is, in the next ten to, to fifteen to twenty years, we are probably going to lose a lot of the core people who are responsible for the foundations because we've reached that age of this industry it, yeah. we, we are going to start to watch all of them pass over the next 10 to 20 years they're all gonna we've already lost two you know the, 
I mean, because people don't live indefinitely, and these people are in their fifties and sixties and seventies. You know, they're going to start to. I, I, this is this is cynical and this is cruel, but they're going to start dropping like fry, like flies. Yeah, it, it's just yeah, with it because they're all the same. And, and that's why I want the technology. And that's you know, it's part of what I argue on my own channel on where we could be with technology because it's critical. While it's always a dynamic variable that we will see up and coming people. Right now, it's like the scary time when when we are at the workforce is at this point and they're about ready to retire and then. It's that unknown of who takes the reins at that point. Yeah, it's like because because we we are in a transition of who are these young guns? What what is their philosophy going to be? Where are they going to steer the industry? Because the 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 founders or the core people who got it to this point, they're 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 retiring. They're 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 dying. Their son. It it's a transitional period for the industry as a whole. It really is. And it's it's going to be an interesting ten to twenty years. It really, really is, you know. Because at the same time, as we have this kind of unofficial passing of the guard, we have a complete change in the form factors going on. We have a complete change in the standard of you know. We have the cloud transition going on. We have the form factor transition going on, and we have a changing of the guard going on. You know, very rarely do you have an industry where basically everything that makes the industry the industry is in a state of flux all at the same time. Oh. It, it's both exciting and terrifying all at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. so. It, it's, it's like, you know, I get combated. I mean, I get a lot of I get attacked a lot on both sides, you know, whatever, Mac. But one attack that drives me crazy is usually from the custom PC builder, of which I am. This, this computer down here is custom. This computer over here is custom. <laughs> and you're a Mac user, and Mac doesn't make a mid tower, and they don't want you messing with their computers. What's the matter? But you know, they're like, "Oh, Mac is overpriced garbage." No, it's not. You know, back in the day when it was Risk processors, it was more expensive to buy Risk. But it, I will take Risk over Intel diarrhea any fucking day of the year. You know, you know, go fucking suck some sand grain somewhere else, man. I'm not interested. Because I, I look, I, I'm sorry. Cisc to me is one of the most inefficient, idiotic conceptions known to man in making. God damn, you gotta make micro ops and shit just to fucking decode bullshit. Micro ops take Cisc and make it look like fucking risk to come out. I mean, how absurd is this? You know, it's like. God dang, I get so pissed. Uh, okay, but, but Marcel, this goes to you being a software developer and knowing how the fundamentals of the technology actually work. If you're the average user, you have no appreciation for that. You have no idea if that's what's going on in the background. <laughs> you're oblivious. It's like, it's like they wouldn't be bitching if Risk was the dominant force at the time. Microsoft locked us in with his damn wind televised. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and everybody missed out. On more efficient computing. Well, fortunately, that's one of the transitions going on right now. So the it's ending. You know, aside from everything else being in flux, that's in flux too. You know. Yeah, now, Macs have gotten significantly cheaper from when I used to buy them under Intel. When they went into, I mean, you know, the margins dropped drastically. Oh, yeah. And it, you know, and, and then OAM, sure, there's going to be the Mac Pro though. Um, versus other like workstation works because I if I went to Dell I went to HP they were just as expensive yeah but not, you know what the thing is is not everybody does their own ninety eight percent of the people I know don't even know anything of what's inside the damn computer they want to go to a store and buy it so don't come to me with your argument of saying I need to make videos and educating people to build computers it's not going to happen. I mean, that's like me getting out, it's like a mechanic, a car mechanic, getting on YouTube and saying, hey, this is how you fix your car. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going to go open up my niece on Pathfinder. There, there, there are people who will do that, but I tend to agree with you. You tend to be right. How, how, I'm going to company to go buy computers and, and all the tools and say, my niece on Pathfinder are to go do that kind of thing. Okay? I'm sorry, so it's not going to happen. So don't comment on arguments and say, well, you can get cheaper because of them. I, I, I admit that. Well, it, to me, it's not, to me personally, it's not about the cheaper. I would like to, and, and you won't like this argument because it's the hippy-dippy Ewok argument, 
But I hate the idea of making a disposable product. And at the end of the day, Macs are, as they're built now, is particularly the laptops, the phones, and the iMacs. They're a made to be thrown away in a few years product. For a lot of PC sites. Yeah, I, I know. I don't like that either. And, and I, I basically, uh, I want a machine that is built in a way to be upgradable. So as the technology changes, even if all the consumer is going to do is bring it back to the store they brought it from and throw it in, it can be refurbed into a modern computer and by salvaging most of the parts rather than needlessly throwing all of that and because that at the end of the day all that does is up the e-waste that has to be processed and up the cost of the device because you're having to rebuild all these parts that really shouldn't have to be rebuilt rather than just upgrading the ones that are actually obsolete you know it, 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 you know, it, 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 it exactly we're both saying you know like, I'm sorry I'm on this thing uh, today, it's because I talked with a friend of mine that we, we were <laughs> discussing these idiotic phrases these Anyway, the, the, the thing of it is, is that I, of course, admit that building custom PC is cheaper. That's what I advocated, man. I got videos standing the gosh damn thing, man. But OEM is OEM. That's why I say I don't compare the two. Because when it comes to the consumer, the majority of them are not interested that I can build a liquid cooled machine with dual video cards and all that. They don't, they're not interested. And then that what we argue is that the success in part of dumbing down of which, of which uh, we, we are beginning to realize is that a lot of users even want this complexity that we have in Windows. They want to dumb it down. Windows 8 is a very is the is is, is the uh, the epitome of it. Well, the, the, the only problem I have with the dumbing here's the thing: people think. Uh, and, and people have made comments like this in the channel, you know, when I talk about power users, like, we're thinking power users. I have no problem with dumbing it down and making it easier for grandma and my mother and yada yada, as long as at the end of the day, I can still do the other stuff. You know, I can lift the hood up and get underneath there and do what I want to do and make it work for me so I can get stuff that the average user doesn't. So it's still there for me. I don't have a problem. It's when you. It's when the dumbing it down removes those features yeah. from and my Windows toolkit. Is doing that, I, I'm still no. Trying to figure out how to do everything on no. 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 That, that's the thing. I, I've been. I have spent since it came out. I have spent time with Windows 8, going, "Oh, I'm gonna have a fun time with this and mm -hmm. doing things for me." And, 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 and but the what's worse about the way Windows 8 did it is, aside from removing things we need, they have also done it in a way that in my personal opinion is going to drive the average user nuts. They're going to be happy with it. They're going to love it. They're going to love it until the first time they click that legacy application that drops them back to the desktop and they get confused. Then the average user is going to go, they're going to explode. You know, it's like... Has all the features, and let me tell you, there's there's plenty of, of like when uh, of the Windows side of the argument. Oh, and it's Mac, so crap. Majority of them haven't, haven't really utilized the power of, of OS X. Is what I would argue because I can get extremely professional on this, getting down to command lines and automation, and, and, and there's tons. But that's just the it, it, it is still Unix. What I don't like about yeah. OS X is that, uh, and this is why I'm a KDE Linux user. I don't like the lack of customization. I don't care what the stock is. I want to be able There's to kind of do what. It's not there, sure, certainly, but it's yep. extremely powerful. I can get into, you know, I almost started to want to make a series of pro uses of OS X like to ex expedite production. But I realized a lot of people and a lot of my eyes is not there. They're they like more of like I can tell by the the viewership of each of my videos is that is that. The super complex videos where I get the technology, most people tune out. If I get really superficial, most of them are interested. If, it, if I can, if I dangle a slight carrot where it gives them a slight edge, remaining superficial, they appreciate it, right? So it's like I can I can spend hours on end editing videos with animations, explaining extremely in depth things that you can do. But at the end of the day, they're not... Oh, no, no. And, 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 and see, the, I, I, this is part of why I'm so afraid of the dumbing down. Because I acknowledge at the end of the day, 9 out of 10 users plus 
just want to click the button, and they don't care. Uh, and, and the the and and you know what? I'm all for servicing them because they are the majority. I just don't want to service them at the expense of the people who want to do more than click the button. You know, I, I don't. It's like, and I don't see a reason you can't do both. I see no reason you can't make right. it click the button simple while still having. Okay, for those of you who want to lift the hood, here's how. <laughs> it's like, you know, I see no reason you can't build things that way, and and that's. I'm not going to watch a guy on YouTube uh, to dismantle my 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 Nissan Pathfinder. Number one, I don't have a tool, so I can't do that. I'm not going to go spend the money to get the tools. Because uh, I got other things to do. To be honest, with you. and that's and that's what most computer users are like. They're like, I don't want to. I don't want to waste my time. Well, no, but it, 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 here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I think this is one thing the computer industry as a whole is forgetting. In every single industry that involves technology, and I do mean every single one, there are. A group of there are there are subgroups of professionals. There's the group that do the grunt work, and then there's the people that create that that create. They're not software developers. They're not true creators, true solutions. But they're people who do the intermediary of taking the solutions true software people create and creating the intermediary tools to enable the grunts to do. And those people, the intermediary people, the managerial people, the design people, the yada yada people, they need the ability to lift the bonnet and go, no, 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 I need this here, I need that here, because that's what it needs to be in this particular case. And when you close the bonnet and take that layer away, you take away the ability for anybody but the software engineers to create the solutions for the grunts. And that's... that that. That intermediary level is so important to the rate at which our technology has grown. Because well, actually, I will say that Apple's actually done really good. And so has Microsoft, although .NET frustrated me for many years. I, I will say both platforms are really doing things hands over fist to help us developers on, on both platforms. And, and with that, you need to stop and pause and you can save the video so we don't lose it. Okay. Hey, uh, please stand by for a momentary freeze. <laughs> 